so actually before I begin this video, um, I got a comment on the last video that this was a carpet that I'm filming on my carpet. I'm not actually filming on my carpet, guys. This is actually a part of my desk. Well, it's a, it's a little blanket I have over it. That'll make the video look a little bit nicer. Hello, everyone. Rebag Tech here, and today I'm going to be doing a speed test comparison between iOS 7 and iOS 12 on the iPhone 5S. So, let's begin. So here I have the iPhone 5S running iOS 7.1.1, so if I go into settings, general, and about, as you can see I'm on iOS 7.1.1, and if I go on here, I'll go settings, general, and about. I'm currently running iOS 12 beta 4. Just just keep in mind that this is not going to be what iOS 12 will be when it comes out in September. Just keep in mind that uh, performance will change and I will make a video when iOS 12 does come out. Um, but yeah, so far iOS 12 beta 4 has actually been pretty stable for me. So yeah, we're just going to be doing a speed test comparison between the two. So we're going to see if iOS 12 is actually keeping its word of being able to boost performance just the slightest bit. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing first is doing a shutdown test to see which device actually shuts down the quickest. So we're going to shut down these two devices in 3, 2, 1. Keep in mind that iOS 12 is on the right and iOS 7 is on the left. So iOS 7 is still booting down. iOS 12 actually beat it. So iOS 7 did lose in this little round, the shutdown test. But this doesn't prove anything just yet. So it's actually still booting down. Alright, so now it's actually turned off. Alright, so with the battery on this iOS 12 device, it is uh, completely shot. So um, I have to actually plug it in while it boots or else it will actually just shut off completely. So I'm going to hold down the power button and plug these devices in at the same time. So 3, 2, 1. So iOS 7 did boot about half a second later. So yeah, now off to a time lapse. Alrighty, so it appears that iOS 7 has boot up already and it is fully usable and iOS 12 boot up just a little bit later. So it appears that iOS 7 boot up about 5 seconds earlier than iOS 12. That is really good considering that this phone is already 5 years old and this is its flagship OS and this is the latest iOS supported. This is definitely faster than iOS 11 so far. So let's actually go to the app switcher. Now on my last iPhone 5S video I got a lot of comments saying that this device was plugged in that I should replace the battery because it's throttling. The throttling feature was actually not introduced for the iPhone 5S, it is actually introduced for the iPhone 6 and later. But yeah, there's there's nothing here that will affect the performance with the battery, at least from my knowledge. So yeah, let's continue to some speed tests. Alright, so I'm going to do the traditional app opening and fully loading test. So we're going to open up the stock applications that the iPhone 5S on iOS 7 and iOS 12 both have. So first of all, we're going to open up settings in 3, 2, 1. So it appears that iOS 7 did open up a bit faster. iOS 12 did hang a little bit. Uh, closing iOS 12 won that. So now let's open up the App Store in 3, 2, 1. This is a more intensive application, and the iPhone 5S and iOS 7 actually loaded that like a snap of a finger. That was extremely fast. iOS 12 was later behind. So now let's open up another intensive application, such as the iTunes Store in 3, 2, 1. So it appears the iPhone 5S also loaded that one a bit faster. Um, it wasn't actually significant, but it is enough. Now let's open up the phone app in 3, 2, 1. So iOS 7 did load that one faster again. iOS 12 seems to be loading about a second or two seconds later. I mean, it's not significant at all. So let's open up something else like the Messages app in 3, 2, 1. So uh, it didn't actually load up the keyboard, but almost the same. I mean, there's not that much of a performance difference. This is actually surprising. So let's open up another application, uh, Music, in 3, 2, 1. Well, I would say that iOS 7 did win that one, but Apple Music does have a lot more features than this iOS 7 Music app, so I'm going to give this one a pass. Alrighty, so now we're going to open up Safari in 3, 2, 1. So iOS 7 did load that one faster. Now, these devices are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and we're going to load Apple.com in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so iOS 7 did load that one surprisingly faster. Uh, iOS 12 was actually about half a second later. This is actually really surprising because iOS 7 has an outdated uh, engine compared to iOS 12. So, yeah, overall, so far, what I'm noticing is iOS 12 is, is slower, obviously, but it is not a significant decrease. It's not like, like this is like a half a second to two seconds at top so far. So let's actually open up an another heavy application. So this is gonna be the camera app in three, two, 
Take one. iOS 7 did load that one again, but as I said, iOS 12 seems to be just two seconds behind. That's that's amazing to me that iOS 12 is actually this fast. I was expecting it to be this like a little bit slower than this. But so far, iOS 12 has actually been really surprising me. So let's also open up another application. So let's open up. Let's open up Contacts in three, two, one. Yeah, like I said, iOS 7 is just going to be snappy because it's initial firmware. But honestly, I'm I'm actually surprised at how well iOS 12 is performing so far. So I'm actually going to group the apps that iOS 7 has and iOS 12 have. So I'm going to be doing a comparison and every single app that iOS 12 has that iOS 7 doesn't, I will be putting in a folder. So yeah, I'm going to go do that real quick. Alrighty, so I just rearranged the apps in a folder that iOS 7 does not have. And I'm going to be doing my classic test of opening, fully loading, and closing every single stock application and see how long it actually takes the actual phone to load every single application for both OS's. I'm going to have a timer. Alrighty, so I actually have my stopwatch right here. It is iOS 8 iPhone 5s and that's not really important but I'm going to be starting with iOS 7 first then going to iOS 12 so I will catch you back when that is done Alrighty, so it took the iPhone 5S and iOS 7 1 minute and 9 seconds to open, fully load, and close every single stock application. So that is honestly surprising. I noticed the iPhone 5S and iOS 7 is actually really snappy when it comes to opening and closing stuff. Off to iOS 12. Alrighty, so it took the iPhone 5S an entire 30 seconds more to open and fully load every single stock application. Now once again, I need to clarify that this is just a beta and this is not exactly how iOS 12 would perform. If you're kind of disappointed with these scores, I will also do this test later in the year, but this is kind of a significant number to me. This is a whole 30 seconds slower than iOS 7, and overall, when I was opening and closing applications, I noticed it was hanging a lot. With other tests and stuff, it didn't seem like it was too far off from iOS 7. This was actually very surprising to me. So iOS 7 and iOS 12 12 general usability it honestly feels pretty fluid so far I mean just general animations such as like opening folders and stuff and closing them seem pretty smooth and they seem pretty snappy it just comes to like when you actually start loading like intensive applications like the App Store iTunes Store or, you know a web browser or even social media apps even I do notice that there is a bit of a hang when it starts to use some of that stuff iOS 12 did say that it will be using like as much CPU usage as possible when it does open up applications and load stuff so yeah honestly if you have anything below iOS 11 or you know iOS 10 or below I would I would stick with that for for right now. In general speaking, iOS 12 is actually very significantly better than iOS 11 was when I did this test back in February. So I'm going to do one last test. I'm just going to go through the system and just do like this. And as you can see, iOS 12 did hang a little bit there. You know, opening a light control center, that lags a bit. Putting up notification center, that also has a little bit of a lag. But yeah, just general usability. There's a occasional stutter here and there, but honestly, it is not anything significant well guys i guess that does it for today's video hopefully you do enjoy this video and if you did please smack that like button follow my twitter instagram links will be in the description and as always this is revac tech signing out